Hey, it's Dom here. We've just been updating a client's social media and we realized that the open graph image doesn't look great. So in this tutorial, we're gonna run through how to use Webflow to update the open graph image as well as Facebook's debugger tool to make sure that those changes are actually published live when the post is ready to go. So what you can see here is we've set up this post ready to go via the National Assistance Card Facebook page, but when it comes to the open graph image itself, it's just come up with this default web image, which doesn't look good at all, and I think we can make it much better. So the first thing that we need to do is actually jump into Webflow and update the open graph image there. So jumping across, what we've got is this page, the Brain Injury Awareness Week page, and what I have done is left the open graph image empty. A little hack just for when it comes to open graph images, you used to have to host these on something like Dropbox or Google Drive, but what I've done is created this image here, um, just a yeah, nice little preview for the upcoming Brain Injury Awareness Week. And what I've done is you can actually upload this into Webflow just by drop and drag or using the upload tool. And then because Webflow actually generates its own link for each of these images, we can actually just grab this link and that can become our open graph image, which is super handy. So once we've done that, um, so we can just crack this open and copy the link. We can jump back to the pages area and then go to our page and click the little settings for the page. And then we can scroll down and copy and paste that link under the open graph URL. We can now save this, we can preview it first. And once we're happy with that, we can save it. And then we can go across and publish our website. Once it's done that, however, you notice if I go back in, copy this text and then refresh the page. Despite our website being published, if I actually paste this back in, that the open graph image is exactly the same. So what we then need to do is use Facebook's debugger tool to actually tell Facebook or tell Meta to update the open graph image for this link. So this is just at developers.facebook.com slash tools slash debug. And what we can do is grab our link that we want to update or that we know that's been updated and paste it into this area here. We can then hit debug. And what it does is comes up with the sort of last scraped preview. And as you can see, that's the old image, which is just grabbing one of the icons from the website. What we can do is force Facebook, force Meta to scrape again. It will have another look. And then it will come and tell us that hopefully our new image is updated and that looks so much better than what we previously had. Now what we can do is actually come back across here, follow that same process again of copying our text, refreshing the page and pasting it in. And now what you notice is because we've told Meta to update the open graph image, our new one's there. So it's looking so much better. We can then go ahead and finish scheduling this post or putting this straight on Facebook. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and feel free to subscribe to follow our journey, posting all things with regards to Webflow, website design, social media and more. Thanks.